The Philippine army has long been the stalwart defender of our land. But now, there's no stopping it from conquering the skies too. In a historic step forward, the army has unveiled its newest tool, a state-of-the-art helicopter flight simulator that's set to revolutionize how army aviators train and fly. On July 4th, the Philippine Army proudly announced the arrival of its newly acquired rotary wing flight simulator, the Redbird VTO. This advanced full motion simulator is designed to replicate the flying experience of the Robinson R-44 helicopter, a popular light utility helicopter used worldwide for utility work, private transport, and flight training. What makes this simulator special is its cutting-edge technology. It moves along arc-shaped tracks, giving pilots the feeling of being suspended from the helicopter's rotor head. The immersive visuals provide a massive 200-degree wraparound view and a 70-degree vertical field, almost like being up there for real. This simulator is a game-changer for the Army Aviation Regiment based at Fort Ramon Magsaysay in Nueva Ecija. With this tool, Army aviators can safely hone their skills without leaving the ground. They can practice emergency maneuvers, handle unexpected weather, and build muscle memory, all within a safe and controlled environment. Philippine Army Commanding General personally visited the flight simulation facility to test the Redbird VTO himself. His approval for this acquisition shows the Army's commitment to modernizing its aviation capability, ensuring our pilots are always mission-ready and safe. The acquisition of the Redbird VTO is not an isolated upgrade. It's part of the broader Army Aviation Capability Development Program, a roadmap to enhance the Army's air operations. From protecting the country's land, the Army is now fully stepping into the skies. Under the comprehensive archipelagic defense concept, the Army aims to secure the Philippines as a multi-island nation. The new flight simulator supports this by strengthening the Army's ability to conduct aerial AE patrols, rapid transport, and urgent missions across the archipelago. Having this capability means the Army won't have to rely solely on the Philippine Navy or Air Force for air support or transport. Whether it's disaster response, troop deployment, or emergency medical evacuation, the Army's aviation wing can get there faster and safer. What's more impressive? The Redbird VTO is the first helicopter simulator of its kind not just in the Army, but in the entire armed forces of the Philippines, and even the country. Manufactured by Redbird Flight, simulations in Texas, USA. This device shows how global technology is now at the service of Filipino defenders. So what does this mean for the future? As the Army continues to expand its aviation fleet and pilot pool, simulators like the Redbird VTO will ensure new aviators get world-class training right here at home, reducing costs, improving safety, and boosting readiness. This is just one of many modernization efforts the Army is pushing under the Philippine Defense Reform and the ongoing AFP modernization program. It's a clear message. The Philippine Army is ready to meet tomorrow's challenges by land and now by air. From the jungles to the skies, the Philippine Army is embracing innovation to protect every Filipino and every inch of our territory. The new Redbird VTO simulator is a leap forward, ensuring our aviators fly smarter, safer, and stronger than ever. What do you think of this milestone for the Philippine Army? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our deep dives into the future of Philippine defense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.